As a conservative Christian, Mark Jensen loves Jesus and his family. I'm married, I have three children. But he also loves porn. Sex is great. And Christian churches aren't too keen on porn, per se. His kicked him out. I ended up uh, becoming addicted to porn, having, a, uh, having an affair, and affairs are definitely not good for family life. Now he's sleeping on his friend's couch. God also created boundaries for that sex. He created marriage. Acting out in an affair, committing adultery, was kind of a byproduct of uh, a porn, porn addiction. After a failed marriage and advice from his pastor to do so... Yeah, it keeps, a, it keeps a log of where you've been. Mark turned to technology, the very thing that got him into porn, to help him cope with his moral struggle. Personally, I believe that pornography has damaged my life. X3 Watch is uh, a tool that, it's a tool that I use that helps me uh, be accountable to how I use the internet. It's that little guy on your shoulder that says, you don't want to go there. The free X3 Watch program runs in the background and automatically sends a log of questionable sites you go to to an accountability partner. It's going to look for nude, it's going to look for naked, it's going to look not just at the website address but deeper into the website to scan some of the content. Think of it as like an AA sponsor. Mark chose a longtime friend for his and has gotten busted a few times in the eight months he's been using it. The excuses come up but uh, when it comes down to it, he called me on the carpet. For his kids, he uses a souped-up version called Safe Eyes that, in addition to accountability alerts, has dozens of filtering options to actually block specific kinds of sites, including gambling, sexy, and essentially any of the seven deadly sins. It can even block instant messaging, social networking, and let the administrator control how long someone can stay on the web and at what part of the day. Mark found out about the software through its distributor, TripleXChurch.com a larger empire of websites headed up by this man, self-proclaimed porn preacher Craig Gross. It's a controversial approach that sometimes uses titillation to fight titillation. Like, do you believe in God? And that moment, like, I just got chills all over it. It's the only place on the web where you can find a series hosted by Pete, the porno puppet. Do your best and say no to pornography. But perhaps the strangest of all the Triple X Church's running memes is Gross's ongoing debate with famed porn star Ron Jeremy. A debate that has Jeremy playing Amazing Grace with his pal, the pastor. We're doing nine billion bucks without it. We don't need kids. The porn industry is knocking down every one of your doors. They don't care if you're 58 or if you're 8 years old. Or Gross the Preacher considers Jeremy the porn star a friend one he disagrees with, in a rather sensationalist fashion, even taking to a wrestling arena to fight Jeremy over what he considers the point. Didn't the Lord say, turn the other cheek? People tell me all the time, porn brings me closer with my spouse. Oh, I'm not going to argue with you. If you think that, I'll tell you, I think it's short term. I think it's fantasy. It's not reality. Um, you're not going to be able to live up to those expectations. A sentiment Mark Jensen agrees with. He feels he'll always struggle with porn addiction, but thinks the triple X approach to reversing the habit is working. So it'll remain part of his online regimen. Basically what's online is a fantasy and a lie. And, you know, you're trying to attain that. Um, and it just doesn't, doesn't happen.